You guys have probably seen the new leaks or whatever about the new character Shika no Win Haizu. Now, these new leaks show this character being a melee, quote unquote, DPS animal unit. And that is extremely exciting, especially for someone like me who absolutely loves the element animal. Now, why this is super important is because currently in Genshin Impact, we don't really have a character that does that. We have all of these characters that have to use their weapons in order for us to get any sort of thing coming out. Now, we do have something a little bit close. Now, if we go to our character selection screen and we can pick out a character such as Barbara. Now, Barbara and any other Catalyst users, they come pretty close to what you see as a quote unquote melee user, but obviously it's you, you don't really use your fist or limbs to attack right now the cool thing about shiki no win is that he actually does he uses his limbs uses his fists his foot his knee his elbow to attack his opponents not to mention he looks absolutely badass <laughs> doing that and because of that this makes him one of the most unique characters in genshin impact and probably the most hyped characters for right now. Obviously, we don't have a lot going on in Genshin Impact right now, meaning this character has all of your attention. Because of that, this makes me super excited for this character because obviously, no one has seen a character like this before for the first thing. Second thing, their animal. Third thing, this could mean so many more possibilities for future characters to be such as, you know, Shikina Win. This is super important because what if they release another character that's, you know, a fire catalyst that does the same thing or a physical character that does that? If there is a physical character that does that, how awesome would that be? That happening is super low because if you're a Catalyst user, you have to have a certain element. And the closest thing I could think of is maybe Geo being quote unquote physical damage because that would mean that they don't really have something to make an element to reaction. And that would mean this, you know, just solo Geo element making it super, super nice. Now, for the whole part of, you know, Shikinoin being just an animal character, just animal damage. He is still going to have swirl, meaning there is a chance you could have the Viridescent set on him. I don't think so, but there's a chance. I think that Chicken Owen is just going to be DPS, similar to how Xiao works. So if you guys don't know how Xiao works, Xiao is a character that, you know, does animal damage. And because of that, he still has swirl in his kit, but it is not the most optimum way to build Xiao. Xiao is a character that's built for damage and only damage. And because of that, because of his talents, because of how he works, you would want to just stack up maximum attack, maximum crit damage, crit rate. You want to just have him have his ult uptime almost up all the time. So you're going to have more than one animal character in your team anyway. And if you want to do any shredding, you know, animal resistance, whatever it is that you need, you're going to have another character in your team to be doing that for you. Because of that, you don't really need the animal or viridescent set on your main DPS and rather on your sub DPS animal support or your healer support such as Jean. That is super interesting to me because if you have both of those characters on your team anyway, you're going to have an absolute blast similar to how you play with Xiao, but obviously way cooler in my personal opinion at least because having a character that can fight using their limbs is super exciting to me and I cannot wait to try them out in the game. If you guys have any ideas of how they might work, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them as well as commenting back. And also, if you think about it really, having a character like this doesn't quite fit into the regular meta. So this might actually be a meta shifter or a new type of character that is going to be released more often. And we might see more characters like this. And that is really exciting to me. Obviously, they're not going to make a new type of weapon for a character like this. They're still going to stick with the catalyst. Even though I think they might need to introduce a new weapon sometime, you know, in the near future. But we're going to have to wait to see what Dendro does and how Dendro works 
to maybe potentially see how that works. Now, Shikino Win might not come out until 2.8 of Genshin Impact, as we've talked about in the previous videos. It's not something that's bad. It's actually great. You have a lot of time. You have a lot of time to think about it, whether or not you want to save up for that character. You'll have time to think about how good he is, um, his talents, whatever, as they release more stuff about him in the future as well. You're going to have a bunch of videos of Shikino Win, of people making videos of Shikino Win, at least. You're going to have a greater understanding of the whole situation anyway. And I'll be covering some of that as well myself. So if you want to stick around, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Like this video if you liked it. I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.